What's up guys? So uh, we are coming to you today to, uh, we've always had the goal of being very open and honest with you on this channel about what's going on, full transparency in our lives about how we aim to bring you the most full versions of ourselves. And if you watch the About Me story, you know kind of where we came from and we wanted to work really hard on that so we could be honest and tell you how we got to where we are today. And so continuing on that topic, um, we do have another unfortunate about me that happened Monday of this week, so September 10th. Um, you can see I'm wearing uh, a little cast here, but um, kind of an unfortunate story, and I do want to warn you that the title isn't clickbait. If um, gun violence, if violence in general, um, any any kind of emotional distress would come to you from hearing about a story with graphic details or graphic images, um, click away now. I definitely want to type the story out in the description below, so if you'd rather just read um, than hear about what is about to happen then, or has happened to us, then you can click away. Um, it will involve gun violence, it will involve um, graphic images, and just an emotional story, so um, just a forewarning. But uh, we do want to come to you today to tell you what is going on. Uh, if you've noticed, I've kind of been absent on my Instagram story all week, posting your all's check-ins and stuff, but normally I'm like, hey, what's up, it's Sydney, here's your 40-minute workout, I'm so sweaty, yada, 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 expect a 50-minute tomorrow. Um, so to, to dial back a couple of days to Monday night, we've been in super grind mode trying to get this four-week end of summer challenge ready for you guys, so we've been working a lot of hours, we've been staying um, at the studio until past dark, um, and so Monday evening, we were there until 9.30, 9.30 p.m. Which is pretty early for us yeah, to that's, be leaving. Yeah, not out of the out of the ordinary for us. Uh, so it was 9.30 p.m. We finished up recording a workout. We were trying to add people to the Facebook page um, for the end of summer challenge. And we closed everything up, finished up, locked up, and walked out the door. And um, we see guys kind of lingering around the edge of the building. So we walk out of our door, down a sidewalk, and then we go down a couple stairs, maybe like three sets of stairs, and our cars are parked directly in front of our media studio. So we walk down the sidewalk, we see the guys, we're like, okay, um, we'll continued to walk to our car, and then all of a sudden I faintly heard, don't move. And it was literally that loud. Like I, I thought maybe yeah. they were talking to each other. Yeah, I didn't even. He didn't even hear it, um, or don't move. And so we were almost to Dustin's car. He was getting in on the driver's side, and I had to walk around to the passenger side. And I hear it again, don't move, still very faintly. And I look back over my left shoulder, and I see four guys. And we saw the guys when we first walked around, but they were just walking up the street. Four guys, and they were in all black, had their hoods up. So we couldn't see anything but I saw in the street light the flicker of a gun. A gun was drawn, pointed at us. So I turned back around, I said, Dustin, get in the car, get in the car, they have guns, get in the car. So he didn't even look back either. We got around to the car and I look back over and I see another guy has a gun drawn. So two out of the four guys now have guns pulled up, pointed at us. And we are assuming now looking back that they were trying to rob us. We yeah, think. We don't know. Uh, we don't know because we had backpacks on. Uh, we're not sure, but my first instinct was we can either stand here and get shot or we can try to run. So uh, we both started screaming. We got in the car. Um, Dustin got in the driver's side, which was actually closer to the guys. I flew around to the passenger side and was getting in the car. I jumped in, was pulling my leg back into the car, and about the time I was pulling my leg into the car to shut the door, I felt uh, something hit it. And it felt like a hammer maybe, like a hammer just kind of like, you know, knocked your leg and I felt it scoot out away from the car, but I just pulled it in really fast. We got in, Dustin jammed the car in reverse, flew out of there. They were still shooting about the time we opened the doors to get in, they started shooting. Um, and we learned that it were, there were eight shots total. It's okay. We learned that there were eight shots total, um, and Dustin managed to close the door, put it in reverse, get out of there, and I was crunched down on the floor. He was crunched down behind the steering wheel, and it's okay. 
<laughs> I know. Um, and I was crunched down and I was like this and I felt my hand was wet. I was like, what in the world? And so I looked down and it was obviously blood. And so I told him, I've been shot. I think they got me. Um, head to the hospital. So we immediately called 911. We weren't sure where the closest hospital was in proximity to us. And he was telling them what happened. And she said, pull over. The dispatch said immediately, pull over, pull over, pull over. So um, she said she had a medic closer to us than we were to the hospital. So we pulled over in a McDonald's parking lot and they directed him and like I was in the passenger side and he went around the side of the car, got some cloth, uh, cloths out of the back of the car and was holding my foot up in the air, squeezing it, putting pressure on it. Um, I guess adrenaline was still running through me at that time because it wasn't hurting yet. Um, it was just bleeding a lot. And the medics got there, they uh, started interviewing Dustin, they took me up onto the gurney, wrapped my foot up, um, still no pain yet. I was just like, man, this is bleeding a lot. Um, so they asked him kind of what, what happened, gave the full story, and they, he told him the story, and they proceeded to take me into the ambulance to head to the hospital and took him in a cop car because they thought your car was a part of the crime scene, I guess. Yeah. You had blood everywhere, and they yeah. were looking for bullets. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So they left his car in the McDonald's parking lot, followed me in the ambulance with him in the cop car, um, and about that time, I think the adrenaline started to wear off, so it really started to hurt. And they told me that the the bullet had got me right between my ankle bone and my Achilles. So if you look at my leg, hit bottom right part of my foot, it didn't hit the Achilles and it didn't hit the ankle joint, thank God, because that could have been a whole lot worse. Um, but it slid right through kind of like an opening between the two, and it came out the other side. So went in through the internal part, came out this side, went through my very favorite shoes. So that was a bummer. <laughs> no, that's not funny. But um, anyways, we got to the hospital and uh, the paramedic told me it's calm right now and it's about to get really crazy when you enter the trauma part of the doctor's office or part of the hospital. It's going to get crazy. So got in there. It did get crazy. Dustin was standing right outside of the curtain. They were, you know, poking, prodding, what happened, like 19 different people. What happened? Can you tell me what happened? So I told the story like six different times to 16 different people, and um, they were wrapping my foot up, and it, it wouldn't stop bleeding. So someone said, um, we, need, uh, we think there was an artery nicked. And so they looked down, and that was um, not an actual artery, but the branch of an artery. And they couldn't get that branch of the artery to stop bleeding. So they proceeded to dig into my foot with their fingers. Um, honest to goodness, the worst pain I've ever, ever felt in my life. It felt like my foot was continually exploding uh, because they were rushing their fingers down through a bunch of nerve endings. And I was, you know, screaming, going crazy. They couldn't get it to stop where they couldn't find the branch of the artery. So they stopped and they had to take me into surgery and they cauterized the artery or the branch of the artery and then I woke up to this guy yep. sitting there. And so that was Monday, uh, nine, 9.30 I guess. It happened at 9.30. Yeah, surgery was probably around 11. Yeah, you got out of surgery around 3 a.m. Mm. Okay, so that is uh, what's going on. I've got this this plaster cast on right now and um, I go back in two weeks to get a checkup and probably a walking boot but the doctor said next week next week yeah okay the tw yeah next week um, and the doctor said uh, probably four to six weeks I'll be out calcaneus yeah that the bullet did hit a portion of my calcaneus that wasn't at the point of attachment where the Achilles hits the heel bone and it wasn't in the joint but it did graze through and hit a piece of the bone so um, I'll, I'll transfer from this into a walking boot um, probably hopefully. yeah hopefully four to six weeks from now um, anything else um, just, you know, just be careful I yeah. mean there's nothing there's nothing we could have really done yeah uh, I mean it was so so fast and ha everything happened so fast and so unexpected um, and this stuff can happen anywhere 
Yeah. Um, generally, where our studio is at, where our studio is at, is generally safe. Mm-hmm. Um, but unfortunately, it was just uh, the investigator called it uh, a crime of opportunity. We were just by ourselves. The parking lot was empty with just our cars. It was dark. Mm. Um, I think those guys actually robbed a, a store right after shooting at us. Um, so they're on the look for them. Unfortunately, we have security cameras, but um, it was so dark out um, and they were wearing all dark clothing and uh, they all had hoods on. So you can't really make out their faces. The only thing you can make out was what clothes they were wearing. So yeah, um, unfortunately, they haven't caught them. Um, I don't know what their incentive was. Yeah. Why they shot? Uh, we don't know anything. Uh, and the video camera said they were just walking up the street, so it's not like we were yeah. targeted. They weren't yeah. hunting us down or anything. We just came out from recording a workout and went to go home, and they just happened to be there at that time as well. And yeah. I would assume saw our bags and thought, oh, we, we would probably like to have what's in that bag. Oh. So... Um, Above all, we're, we're both thankful to be alive. Um, with eight shots fired, there's no way in the world that this wasn't a miracle, uh, yeah. that we're both alive and well. And Yeah, somehow I didn't get hit, and mm-hmm. Sydney didn't get hit, but her car was parked beside mine, and yeah. she, we just didn't have enough time to get her in her car. Yeah, um, but she reacted to Somehow fast. my car didn't get hit, and I didn't get hit, but her car got hit, and she got hit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everyone's telling us to, you know, everyone's worried about us with the, the hurricane coming, which, you know, we're worried and we appreciate that. But yeah. it's, uh, it's weird when the, when you're not even worried about the hurricane, you're just, you know, you got other things that are yeah. you know, way more scary. So I'm just thanking God that we are alive and, I would say God and my brother were watching out for us. There's no way that with eight shots fired that this is all that should have happened. So um, I guess, yeah, like you said, be careful at night. Watch your surroundings. Uh, and, you know, there, there wasn't really a way for us to prevent this. Uh, but I, I would say it was best case scenario uh, for with what happened, that this is all that happened. Um, I'm just so thankful that, we're alive, that he didn't get hit, that, you know, we managed to, he managed to stay calm enough under eight shots being fired to get in the car, put it in reverse, back up, get out of there, speed out across an intersection and, and not, you know, I would have been so panicked. I think I would have froze. So, uh, it was just kind of like a miracle. I, I keep saying the same thing, but it's a miracle that we're here now and alive. And I feel super blessed to to be with this guy. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. Um. And so uh, another thing that we've been worried about, obviously, is the future of the channel, of uh, the four-week program that's coming up with the four-week end of summer challenge. And uh, to, I guess, flip it around optimistically, you guys are probably going to get a whole lot more access to me (laughs) um, over this next four-week challenge because I, I have the opportunity to be here with my computer chatting with you guys all the time. Um, As far as the workout calendar goes, we did already have a scheduled four weeks of workouts. I had every single day program for what type of workout I needed from for you guys and what each week was going to progress into. We will be using videos that you probably 90% of you may not even haven't seen yet. Um, They are older videos that were on the channel when we very first began, um, some of which we haven't released and some which we have that have you know very little views because our channel was so new when we did post them but I had the schedule written out like a leg day and then a cardio day and then a full body you know whatever the schedule is I am still going to be uploading those videos live every morning for you guys and um, you will still have that four weeks worth of workouts they'll just be they'll just be a little older videos so right. she looks pale you know <laughs> I am why, extremely we pale recording it was, that was back during the the winter. Yeah, so. November, December, January, um, or yeah, February, sometime around there. But 
the workouts will still be the same type of format that I would have done if I would have been recording the workouts live. So you don't have to worry that you're not going to get workouts now. I'm just filling the blanks in with workouts that we have previously recorded that are going to accomplish the same exact thing as I would if I would have been doing them live. Um, I think God was probably looking out for us in this way too because we had the workout calendar and thank goodness we have been recording for a while that we have videos that a lot of you probably haven't seen yet or haven't utilized yet um, or if you have maybe only one or two times. So workouts are still going to be uploaded for you every single day. I'm still going to give you everything as promised, nutrition, the workout calendar, the live question and answers. I'll be checking in with your comments. I'll be commenting, like I said, probably a whole lot more since I'll kind of be chilling right here uh, for the next four weeks with you guys and I'll be very hands-on. Um, I want to invite you to ask any questions that you may have about the challenge um, with it being slightly different now, but in the end it won't be any different. If I hadn't have told you, I, I could have just kind of slid by and uploaded older videos, but I wanted to be very honest with you and and the fact that they are still going to be the same exact thing, but I have recorded them previously. Yeah, and, and the, the program, uh, the four-week in the summer challenge was geared more towards nutrition. Right. In yeah. Any ways. So it'll, it'll be nice, um, like you said, having the time to speak more and probably go live more and yeah. answer your questions more and, yeah. and, and things like that. So. Yeah, I guess that's ultimately what your investment was in. The workouts have always been free for you guys and I want to keep it that way as long as we can. Um, but your investment was in the nutrition and the calendar and the assessment videos, the question and answers. And so we'll be probably doing a lot more of that than I anticipated originally doing because I am here and I am going to be fully accessible to you guys all the time. So nothing has changed in your four week challenge, but I've, like I said, we always want to be very honest with you and how we're approaching it now. Um, a slight twist, but the same exact effectiveness is going to come out of that. You're still going to get four weeks worth of high quality, super energetic workouts from me and questions answered all the time. If you do have any questions, um, comment below with a question about the challenge or you know anything else. Um, hopefully this is kind of an unfortunate situation right now, but we are thankful to be alive. Like we said, we're optimistic that we can offer a little bit more value to you guys with not having to record daily, but diving more into the nutrition and the accountability group for you guys. Um, and if you're on the YouTube channel, not in that accountability group, same thing. We're going to be uploading workout videos live still every day. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, we're thankful to be alive and we're thankful for your all's support. Uh, if we could just ask for prayers for a speedy recovery. Um, you all have been continuously incredibly supportive um, and this is just a roadblock or a speed bump speed bump not a roadblock I will I will get through this and I'll heal up and I'll get back to jumping around like a crazy woman on camera doing the whoop 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 so um, a little delay but we're gonna keep on rocking and we just really really appreciate your support and I can't wait to add more value to you any way that I can anything else all right. Thank you guys yeah, for listening. Uh, we love you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.